So about six weeks ago, I retired from hands-on body work. Dun, da, da. I am now a retired massage therapist, still an active educator, but a retired massage therapist. And I had, our, I had planned to do that later this year. And circumstances made it wise to do it earlier. And in reflection, it came at just the right time. Here's something I learned in a previous profession when I was a technical writer, I went to some kind of professional development thing. And they said, about every 10 years, you should make some changes, some significant changes to your professional life, or you are a prime candidate for burnout. They didn't mean you have to leave the field, you have to become something else. But for most of us, chugging along, doing the same thing, 10 years, 11 years, 12 years, 10 years, 15 years, 17 years, 19 years, is a problem that you need to mix it up a little bit. And I found in my pre previous profession, they were absolutely right because I didn't do that. And by about year 13 or 14, I was becoming one of those employees who was kind of negative and who kind of bitched about everything. I heard that before. So I left the field, became a massage therapist. And I was lucky because I had forgotten that advice. But at about the 10 year mark, my husband's company asked him to move to Australia for a year with one of their clients. And so I closed my practice, moved to Australia for a year because why wouldn't I? And when I came back, I had to start over. But what had happened during that year and when I started over, I realized that there were changes I wanted to make in how I worked. Because those first 10 years, I was not afraid to use the elbow. I was, you need deep tissue? I am not afraid of deep tissue. Bring it on. At about the 10, 11 year mark, I'm like, ah, I feel like I want to start working at a different level. I want to go from heavy work to lighter work. And so I took a couple of classes that really started moving me from heavy hands, as we joked, into light hands. Um, I took myofascial release. I took manual lymph drainage, and I took scar release. Those are the three biggies. I took a couple others, but those were the three biggies because they all require me to make contact, but to not go in so deep, not to be the heavy hands, but to go in a little bit, create some tension and wait and listen. And that changed the second decade of my life as a massage therapist. And as I got into year 20, 21, and 22, I began to feel that itch again. Something needed to change. I was getting restless. I was finding the work fatiguing, and it shouldn't have been. I was finding myself irritated with certain clients for no reason I could figure out. And the truth was, it was the 10-year itch that I needed to make a change. Now, in my case, because at that point, I'd been practicing for more than 20 years, and I was over 60, I decided that the change was I would retire from the hands-on work and devote my energies just to the education, the business of massage. But pay attention if you're feeling itchy, if you're feeling restless, if you're feeling irritable and you can't figure out why, and if it's been about 10 years since you started practicing or since the last time you made a significant change in how you work, it might not be, oh, you need another modality or, oh, you need to leave the field or, oh, whatever. It may be that 10 year itch. And all you need to do is go, okay, I've been going this way. Maybe I need to start going this way. What can I change up? What can I adapt? What can I modify? How can I continue to make my work interesting? What changes and real changes can I break? Is it breakthrough in my practice? Do I need to level up on something? Do I need to go deeper into some area of study and work in our profession? At one time, before I realized I was really ready for retirement, I was looking at visceral manipulation, which would have been a real new direction for my practice, for my work. 
And that probably that could have taken care of the 10-year itch if I wanted to work for another five or 10 years. I didn't. <laughs> but if you are feeling like maybe you're approaching burnout, look at your calendar. How long has it been that you've been kind of trucking along the same path? Maybe you work in a different location. Maybe you're working for different people. Maybe you picked up seated massage when you'd been doing table massage. Is it enough? Or do you need to step back and say, professionally, how do I grow? What changes do I need to make? Is it time? Is this the 10-year itch? Because I'm telling you folks, it's real. And nobody tells us about that. And now I'm telling us about that. So when you're thinking about your professional development, and maybe if you're one of those people that does long-range planning, about every 10 years, you need to make major shift, level up, go deeper into something, whatever. But look out for the 10-year itch because it'll come for all of us sooner or later. My name is Kelly Bowers. I am a retired massage therapist and I write and teach about the business of massage. Take very good care of yourself.